Either you tell me, there are four kinds of people Allah talks about that He has favored. أُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنْ النَّبِيِّينَ I'll tell you the first one, النَّبِيِّينَ Anybody know the other three? As-Siddiqeen, shuhada the prophets, those who confirm the truth in the prophets, the martyrs and the righteous. Four levels of people that basically earn Jannah. What is the lowest of these four levels? The righteous, as Now listen to this. وَمَنْ صَلَحَ مِنْ آبَائِهِمْ And whoever was righteous from among their ancestors. Salaha implies here the lowest level qualified to enter Jannah. This person made it to Adan, their family member is at the lowest level, they're at least righteous, so they made it into, into Jannah. And Allah says, because of you, they get upgraded. Allah Allah. They get upgraded, you can be with them. Now here's the thing, you, I like to compare this to dunya. You know in dunya, you go into a, you book, make a booking at a hotel, right? So you have a lot of family coming, you make a booking at a hotel, you get the executive suite on the top floor, the really big baller room, that they charge a lot of money for, they only have like three rooms like that. You get one of those rooms. And the rest of your family has five, six rooms on one of those economy peasant class floors. Right? They have those. So you go to the concierge and say, I'd like to be with my family. What are they going to do? Put all of them in executive suites or put you down in the economy class? What are they going to do? They're going to put you down in the economy class. What does Allah do here? You're in the executive class Jannah, the premium package. They're in the economy package Jannah, what does Allah do? He upgrades them. وَمَنْ صَلَحَ مِنْ And then Allah says, أَبَائِهِ It's such a beautiful thing. It's this amazing reunion. Not like the ones we have at Eid. The, the, the reunions we have at Eid get complicated. <laughs> Not like those. These are actually happy occasions. Right? What happens here is, you, you know, for example, I was born, before I was born, my mother's dad, my grandfather had passed away, I never met him. I only heard stories about him from my mother. Right? There are people who tell me my great-grandfather was a muhaddith. Three, four generations ago he was this or he was that. Or my great-great-great-grandfather fought the British in this war. And we have stories recorded in history and you know, we're from his legacy, etc, etc. You don't just get to meet your dad and your granddad. You get to meet your ancient ancestors. I mean, I come from Pakistan. And I know for a fact, probably somewhere up in my, uh, my ancestry, my ancient ancestors were Hindu. Right? Islam came to them, they're not like born into Islam, they were Hindu. And there was some Hindu back in the day that became a Muslim. And because of that one guy's decision, his children's 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 children down to me are saying, La ilaha illallah, I'd like to meet that guy, my great great granddad. How was it? Who told you about Islam? <laughs> you know? It'd be amazing. It would be an amazing thing to have that reunion. You know, when Salaha min abaihim. وَأَزْوَاجِهِمْ and, and their spouses. And by the way, when you meet your spouse in, in Jannah, it's not like meeting your spouse here. So don't get depressed. <laughs> right? So, right? Oh, you get to meet your wife? Uh, Jannah, I thought it was... Uh, <laughs> you're here too? No, not like that. <laughs> Am I in the right place? No, no. Not like that. All, you know, all the ghil, all the ill feelings, all the, you know, all the things that you find, find anno annoying about your spouse. We, we love our spouses. But there are things that we don't get along with. There are things that are causes of friction. Allah gets rid of all of those things. The only thing love left is love and affection and appreciation. You know, that's all that's left. And then you meet your spouse and you're like, wow, why weren't you like this in dunya? Because it's dunya. You can't have that in dunya. You get that in dunya for the first week of marriage. That's it. After that, the flight lands and you're on planet Earth. Okay. وَذُرِّيَاتِهِمْ And their offspring. Imagine, right now, alhamdulillah, I have small children. And I don't know how long I'll be on this earth. But I pray that they raise their kids to say, La ilaha illallah and live by it. And they raise their children, and they raise their children. And perhaps out of these children, someone will be some, you know, a great hero of Islam. Someone who carries the message of Islam. And he brings people closer to Allah's deen. Someone that the ummah is proud of, from my children down the road. And I don't even know this happens 300, 400 years after I'm gone. And I get to meet my great, 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 great grandkids. That I could never have imagined. Wow. You're the, you're, you came from my daughter's daughter's son's daughter's daughter's daughter, all the way down. So you get to meet your ancestry all the way up, and you get to meet, meet your ancestry all the way down. In Jannah, there's this reunion happening. It's a lot of people, right? That's a lot of people to meet. 
to be excited about.